Ah oh, yeah, today we are learning with the one, the only king of pop, Michael Jackson. So the song that we're learning with today, Billie Jean, has frequently been mentioned by different magazine polls as one of the best songs ever made. And it's really no wonder why Michael Jackson was a genius songwriter. And we can see this particularly in the creativity of the lyrics of this song, Billie Jean, because he uses the same words to mean different things throughout the song. And we're going to explain all of that to you. So now let's roll the first clip. All right, so I hope you're already having a lot of fun singing along, but before we get into explaining all of the vocabulary and pronunciation, I wanted to let you know that if you're new here, every single week we make lessons with your favorite songs, TV series, and movies so that you can understand fast speaking natives without getting lost, without missing the jokes, and without subtitles. Just like Farida, who told us that in just the first two weeks of watching our lessons, they can already see improvements in their speaking. And your English comprehension and fluency is going to improve a lot too. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and the bell down below so you don't miss any of our new lessons. Sometimes we use the phrase, I hope you don't mind my asking, or if you don't mind my asking, to ask something in a polite way. Alternatively, instead of my asking, it's also common to say me asking. So if you don't mind me asking, do you think you might start dating again? It's much too soon for that. Why, do you know someone? <laughs> okay, great. Uh, if you don't mind my asking, why are you guys getting rid of it? We're getting divorced. I cheated on her for a really long time with a mutual friend. Michael here uses a shorter, yet unconventional, way to say this expression. Don't mind, but. In his song, Michael has been invited to dance by a beautiful woman. He calls her a beauty queen. But he can't believe it, so that's why he asks her, what do you mean I am the one? When we say that someone is the one, we mean that that person is the right person to do something. He or she has been chosen. The one is many times used to refer to the person who will be the love of your life. 
We'll see this again later in the lesson. By dance on the floor in the round, Michael probably does literally mean dancing. However, it could also be a euphemism for sex, or maybe it even means both things. A euphemism, by the way, is a less direct, less offensive way to say something that could normally be offensive. For example, a boss saying, I'm going to have to let you go, is softer than saying, you're fired. So that's a euphemism. Hey, Sherry, Michael Scott returning. Oh, she's in a meeting. Uh, she just wanted the name of the employee you let go. I've got some bad news. You're fired. You need to pack up your things and go. I'm serious, Stanley. It's over. I'm sorry. <laughs> you fired. <laughs> Get your fingers off my phone. <laughs> By the way, did you notice we say a euphemism and not an euphemism? This is because, although it begins with a vowel, the sound is a consonant. Euphemism. This happens with other words too, and that is one reason why it is important to depend on your ears and not just your eyes reading. It's like seeing a unicorn and Bigfoot at the same time. Randy has a unique condition. All your ideas address the issue at a university level. To cause a scene is to create a loud, typically angry or embarrassing disturbance or display in public. Example, Matt's girlfriend caused a scene when she saw his ex texted him. Oh. Max was afraid you were all going to cause a scene, and I told him that wouldn't happen under any circumstances. <laughs> if you make heads turn, or if you turn heads, you do something that attracts a lot of attention. Example, Lady Gaga's outfit turned a lot of heads. You could transform this verb phrase in the following way. She wore a head-turning dress. That bike is a head-turner. This means that everybody wished or had a strong desire to be the one to dance with Billie Jean. What other ways could we say that she made heads turn? Which did you think was correct? In fact, all of these expressions are very similar, and you could also use them in this context. I suppose you don't want to just listen to this fantastic Michael Jackson song, you also want to sing it. So let's practice the pronunciation of these two utterances. Listen again to how he pronounces this. We're going to stress these syllables only. Be, care, what, do. Everything else is unstressed. Of almost disappears. Be careful of what you do. You reduces and links to what, so what you morphs to what you. Altogether, be careful what you do. Be careful what you do. Next is this. Be careful what you do. Don't go around young girls First, we're going to forget about these. We're just now going to imitate how he says it. And don't go around breaking young girls' hearts. Don't go around breaking young girls hearts. Don't go around breaking young girls hearts. Hey, do you want to learn correct native stress and pronunciation like this? Well then, I highly recommend you check out our Fluent with Friends course. Every week for 40 weeks, you will get a lesson following along with the first two seasons of the TV series Friends. Plus you get 20 plus page PDF power lessons, vocabulary memorization software, access to our Fluency Circle global community, and so much more. And you can try it for free right now with our three-part masterclass. All you have to do is click up here or down in the description below and you can learn more and sign up for that right now. To explain the meaning of these lyrics, Michael may be talking about how careful a celebrity needs to be when dating. 
Celebrities many times are harassed by ex-girlfriends or boyfriends because they want money or fame. They will sometimes tell lies in order to get something in return. He says, cause the lie becomes the truth. This means that although something that's being said of you might not be true, if people think it is true, in some way it becomes the truth, and you can't clean your name or escape from it. The verse we've just covered is about Michael meeting and having a romantic evening with Billie Jean. Now this verse that follows is about Michael wanting nothing to do with her. Some time has passed and Billie Jean says that she got pregnant by Michael, but Michael doesn't think he's the father of the child. You could interpret, Billie Jean is not my lover, as if people, especially the tabloids, the type of media that circulates rumors, have been saying that Michael has been seeing Billie Jean on repeated occasions. A lover can have many different meanings depending on the context. In this case, it is someone who is in a loving or even just a sexual relationship with another person. For Michael, Billie was just a one night stand. That's to say, someone who has a sexual encounter only once. As he says, she's just a girl who claims that I am the one. Oh, we're not married, we're just lovers. Ugh, yuck. She hates that word. Grosses me out too, and I spend a lot of my time covered in afterbirth. To claim is to say that something is true, even if it may be a lie. Example, that English school claims that they will make you fluent in three months, but I doubt it's true. The one, as used here, means the same as the person that did something. Example, he's the one who sold me the car. So Billie Jean is saying that Michael is the one who is the father of her child. Then by saying, but the kid is not my son, maybe Michael is saying that in this moment he does not believe Billie Jean. He thinks she is lying to get something from him. However, later we can get a different interpretation of this line. That is, that Billie Jean is saying that he's the biological father, but that he won't ever play the role of the child's father. Here, he's making an allusion to a biblical passage. According to the Bible, it took 40 days and 40 nights for Moses to go and retrieve the Ten Commandments. Billie Jean went to the court in order to try to legally get money from Michael. This kind of problem is exactly, as he says earlier in the song, why his mother warned him not to break someone's heart. If you're on someone's side, it means that you support what that person does or says. So the law was on Billie Jean's side, meaning that they believed her and not Michael. You're my wife. You're supposed to be on my side. I'm always on your side. Then why are you trying to take this away from me? A scheme is a very detailed plan to achieve something, especially something that's going to harm, be detrimental, or cause distress to someone. Why do you think Fonzie was so popular? He told people that they were rich but really took their money with his scheme. Oh, that's a... Yes, those people were victims of a Fonzie scheme. <laughs> You see here that advice collocates with strong for emphasis. You could say this as, I strongly advise you to do something. As an adverb, you can use strongly with a number of verbs. I strongly believe that we should all support President Clinton and her husband Bill. <laughs> I've been incredibly patient for years. Strongly disagree, go on. <laughs> Based on the quality of his work, I'd strongly recommend that we let Leonard go. <laughs> then he says, think twice. We say to think twice when we need to make an important decision. Now the interesting part of this course, listen. First, it seems to say, don't think twice, but then do think twice. This is probably a reference to the shoulder angel, which represents conscience, and the shoulder devil representing temptation. Lord, 
This is quite an interesting part of the song. After stating so strongly that the kid is not his son, he does admit that his eyes look just like his. The kid might, after all, be his son. By the way, in this verse, you see the two uses of baby. Literally, the baby is Billy Jean's and possibly Michael's son. Then, the second time, he says baby referring to her as a romantic partner. Hey, are you loving this lesson so far? Well, we've made two other fantastic music lessons with Queen and Eminem. You can check those both out in this playlist along with all of our other lessons with songs. Also, comment down below and let us know which of these is your favorite song by Michael Jackson. Let us know below and you might just see a video with it in our channel. Dance. 
All right, I hope you've had a lot of fun getting groovy with Michael Jackson in this lesson. And if you want to continue having fun with more music, then be sure to check out all of our lessons with songs in this playlist. And now it's time to go beyond the classroom and live your English. Oh yeah.